Now, I promised that I would talk to you about pole dancing. So this past weekend, I went to my first bachelorette party. I um, I tell people, you know, I, 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 I hang out mostly with guys and I grew up with guys. So it, it was, it, it's very interesting when I go to all girl stuff. And, you know, my idea of a girl's night is chilling with my friend Anna Maria watching a slasher film and, uh, you know, doing our nails, but watching people's heads get chopped off. That's that's a cool girls night to me. And so it, we went out to this um, PA pole academy, I think it was. Uh, we went out to a pole dancing academy because she didn't want to do a strip club and they had they we didn't want to do any of that stuff, but she wanted to do something that was really cool. And before they had mentioned it, I didn't even think about that as a bachelorette option. So it's really just an interesting idea. And uh, I told people I was doing it on my Facebook and I got a lot of comments. And one of them was it was a brilliant idea for a bachelorette party. It's one of the best things that um, people have come up with so far for a bachelorette party that doesn't involve going to a strip club. So I think that it, it was a brilliant idea and it was a lot of fun. But the thing is, I feel about 10 times older than I am today because let me tell you what, my lovelies, I am in so much pain. I am in an inordinate amount of pain tonight and it was a lot worse yesterday. It's better now. It's it's 10 times better, but it's still not, it's still not gone. It's still pretty bad. Um, So we went to the pole academy and we got warmed up and you have to warm up with the pole. So you have to bend and twist and sort of, you know, stretch out your arms and legs and torsos using the pole so that you don't hurt something. And it starts out really easy with just the stretches and then you go into lifts. And so I had not, I have had profound respect for women that are pole dancers just because I know it's a very it's a physical feat that I've never tried before this weekend and I didn't ever it didn't really occur to me how hard it was, but I knew it wasn't easy. And now I, my respect is just, it is through the roof because I, I couldn't do so much stuff. I could not, but I did do something. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I did do and I'm super duper proud of it. Uh, so we went and we tried the lifts. And so there are different ways to hold the pole that uh, are required so that you don't hurt yourself or you don't fall and you get the best grip. And so you have to, she, the first thing that she tried to get us to do was just uh, front into the pole. So holding it against our chests and try to lift our legs out back behind us for a second. And uh, so if you're, if you're kind of a cocky person and you're like, oh, I can do that. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. I dare you. Just do it. Because it's not as easy as it seems unless you have a ridiculous amount of upper body strength already, which I don't. All my strength is in my lower half. Like I was a, I was a, a catcher. So like all those, the, the knees and the legs and the thighs and all that. And I did, I liked soccer and I ran. So all my power, I'm a powerhouse from the waist down. I can kick really hard. I can, you know, I, I've got all this leg power. Yeah, but my arms, nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm not even kidding. So we, we had to pull ourselves up on the pole and I was just like, nope not happening. I did it for like two seconds, did, did not much longer than that. And so we had to pull our legs in front and then we had to do all these lifts and try to lift ourselves first. And then we did spins so that you have to spin around the pole a certain way. And now the poles were at first, she had them locked into place so that they wouldn't spin. And then when she took the pins out, eventually you spun really, 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 really fast, like super fast. But before that, you had to, you had to get down the basics of just where your legs go and you don't really think about it until you try it but you have to know where you're pointing your toes and where your knee's gonna go and where your ankle ends up and so it's 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 a lot of fun but it's so hard and then what else did we do oh yeah we learned how to climb up the pole and apparently this is a lot easier if you are wearing foot gear such as high heels that go up to your knees and they're either pleather or leather or vinyl or like the, a very tacky outer shiny material that helps you climb up the pole and that's why they that's why pole dancers wear them and I was not aware of that but it totally makes sense now and I wish I had brought some sort of thigh high boots that were shiny on the outside because let me tell you what my legs are hurting me now 
And so I, I really wish that I would have read up on that a little bit before going, but I didn't. And so I'm paying for it. But yeah, we learned how to climb up the pole, which I did. I did do relatively well at because I told you powerhouse from the waist down. I've got those crazy leg muscles. And so we learned that. And then this instructor was awesome. I think her name was Erica and she was beautiful and just brilliant and very smart and knew exactly how to tell us how to do stuff and so she was just very impressive too because she'd go like oh and then eventually you can do this and she just is upside down suddenly and her legs out this way I'm like I am what are you talking I'm never gonna be able to do that I can't do that what what is wrong with you have you seen me like I can't even lift my ankles off the ground for two seconds holding on with both hands what is she talking about she had way too much confidence in us I'm gonna tell you what but yeah no it was fun and uh oh I, okay, I do have a shining moment I was very excited about. I was okay with some of the spins once we took the pins out of the pole so that this pole itself spins. And so I was good at that. And I, I got very determined, very determined. And I wore heels to it. Some some of the girls in the bachelorette party wore heels and some wore bare feet. So um, you could choose. And depending on what move you were doing, it was easier or harder. Most of them were easier because heels, I guess, they make your body in such a way that it's easier to do this kind of exercise. Well, she eventually said, okay, so who wants to try and flip their legs up over their head? And I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm good. I got determined. So it's, it's literally the end of the class. And I've been trying. I'm like on my 15th. I'm gonna call it boost I'm gonna like like my 15th boost of trying to do this my little arms are killing me and I try it with and without my shoes on so I take off my heels and I try it without my shoes on and I have a bruise a bruise like the size of a marshmallow on the bottom of my left foot it's on the the ball of my foot and I didn't know you could bruise the ball of your foot like that like it didn't even occur to me as I was doing it but I landed on it a little hard twice in a row without even because I was so determined and I was like I'm gonna fight through the pain so I fought through the pain and then I put the heels back on because I realized that it was a bad idea to keep smashing my left foot on the ground and I almost got it and then I almost got a little more and then I took a deep breath and I was like I'm gonna freaking do this I just am I'm flipping gonna do this and so I swing my legs up over my head and I managed to wrap them around the pole and I'm so I'm upside down on this pole and I go I'm doing it I'm doing it I'm doing it girls look and so Erica the instructor runs over to me and like she goes yeah you're doing it but she she puts her knee up on my back so that I don't fall and she's like you got it you got it and I'm like you've got me so I don't got it and she goes no you're fine you're fine and I'm like no I'm gonna fall and then she's like no you're fine I'm like no let me go I think I got it she totally didn't believe me for a second she's like uh, uh are you sure I'm like yeah no I got this I got this and so she slowly slowly backs up and I just (laughs) I wish there was video of this because I must have looked absurd I slowly just like I'm upside down and so my my I have my if okay if you can imagine me crouching down like a frog for a leapfrog imagine that upside down on a pole that's what I look like (laughs) I was I had my hands right where my knees are and my knees around where my hands are with the pole and so I'm upside down and I'm like sliding centimeter by centimeter down the pole about I guess three feet just slowly and you can hear this just like from my hands sliding down the metal I'm like I'm not gonna fall I'm not gonna fall but I didn't I put on my brave face I put on my I got this what come at me bro face I have a come at me bro face but I slid down and eventually just like my shoulders touched the ground and then I just slowly unfolded and everyone was clapping and I was very I was very excited and I don't know if there's video or pictures I'm sorry if there are I'll find them but that's my pole dancing experience and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it because I tell you what I've got bruises and pain I've got bruises in places I didn't know could bruise and I've got pain in places I didn't know I had because it's not easy it is just it's not easy so i hope you guys enjoyed my pole dancing experience and i'm gonna play some music for you because you must be tired of my voice by now